Hello and welcome back to Top Build Carpentry's YouTube channel. So I wanted today to talk about spray painting, prime example to talk about it because our spray equipment has gone down. Now where we buy our spray equipment from is a company called Sprayman UK and I was planning on doing a bit of a video on this at some point in the future. Uh, so obviously prime time now to show you. Uh, they're based up by Canuck, we're Tamworth based. So it's about a half hour drive from us, but they are really good. Like I've just rang them now, told them the situation. Our spray equipment's gone down, our main spray equipment. We have got like a backup system, which we've just turned on now. Um, but obviously we want our main one because we've got all specific tips for different things that we're currently doing, to be honest. Um, but the other one's good enough for us to get primer and stuff on. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to show you a quick video um, on our setup where we're getting our stuff from because they are so good to deal with um, obviously we bought all of our equipment from Sprayman UK now to be honest with you um, our last two setups and they're just so helpful to be honest because obviously initially for us probably like six years ago we wasn't spraying to be honest with you um, and then when we did go through to them we got a lot of advice from them um, on different machines and we ended up going for an air assisted an airless air assisted setup basically which is in effect we've got the Graco GXFF that we've connected up to an airline we have got the model up from that which I say is our backup machine um, can't think of the model of that I will show you that when I'm back at the booth um, and that's a bigger machine better but because we've got so many tips and so much stuff that we've bought for this machine in particular and we've got the airline set up to this one we get a nice finish to be honest with you so for like cabinetry or fitted furniture what we're doing works perfect yeah so on to the tips while I'm talking tips obviously I will show you all this when I'm in the booth as well but like on to the tips we typically tend to stick with a 410 tip basically which uh, in effect is supposed to give you like a 8 inch fan pattern so if it's got like a four at the start, they say double that and that's your, your fan pattern. Um, so obviously we was using 310s, which I know a lot of people use, but then we tried a 410 and we just find we get better results, to be honest from it. Um, yeah, a bit of a wider fan pattern and um, yeah, that, that works for us. So currently the machine has gone down. Now Steve upstairs, um, Danny set up the new machine, then Steve who's also in the spray booth, he's been trying to fix it this morning, had no luck, um, ended up breaking the cables on uh, the pressure knob basically, which is soldered on, so I've had to go at soldering and back myself in, but you know what, it's just one of them things that you need, it needs to be done properly basically, so I'm going to take it up to them. They have got the part in stock that I need, but why it's up there to be honest, it desperate for a bit of a service. We changed the pump on it not long back ourselves and we've changed all the little bits and parts in there but it needs these guys because they are amazing they do service machines it's just anyone running a business will understand it's when you've when you've got a machine like that where you've got to take it to be serviced and you're busy like we are you know sometimes it's like buy the stuff if, it, if it's a pump on the machine buy the stuff and have a go at it ourselves which we do have a lot of our machines, and obviously with our bigger machines, like our edge banders and stuff, I book once a year a proper engineer uh, to come and service them properly. But in between, we try and do what servicing we can, uh, where we can. So, yeah, I'm currently gonna go up there now, I'm gonna drop off the machine. They did say they look at it today, but obviously it is now quarter past three. I've still got like probably 15 minutes to get there, so I'm getting there at half three. Chances are it ain't been done today, but even if I can drop it up to them, no doubt they'll have a look at it first thing in the morning and uh, yeah, get it sorted. But they are, anyone who's looking for spray equipment, or even if you've got spray equipment and you want some um, parts to go with it or tips, or they're just brilliant. If you need any advice, they're just absolutely great. They've got such a nice setup there. Every time I ring them, they're so helpful. Um, if I'm actually close, especially if I'm inquiring about something new or a new part of the setup, they are just brilliant. So, yeah, obviously, I'll show you uh, the place when I do get up there, and I'll show you the booth and our setups when uh, when I'm back. 
So here it is, Sprayman UK. Also got another company called Fluid Tech. But yeah, up in Canuck. So I'm gonna go in, drop off the machine now. Uh, this is the part that's snapped off as you can see there there's two cables so it needs sorting out so that's the machine dropped off but that's what i say about how helpful they are obviously i've rang them half an hour ago i told them the situation we're middle of painting jobs and um, what we class as our main machine's gone down and there's like bringing straight up and then I've gone up there now and had a chat with uh, their engineer out in the back who was asked the problems and he said first thing in the morning he's going to jump straight on it he's going to check the other parts over it give it a bit of a service and a clean out while it's there and uh, there's a couple of filters on it as well he said he's going to change them as well just so helpful um, so hopefully all being well and good we should get the phone call late morning tomorrow he said go and pick it back up and we're back in action so yeah the joy of that and then obviously on to spray painting you know we that's not our main trade it's a trade that we do and what we offer and obviously we have been now for probably six years but yeah on to the spray painting itself in my eyes the main part with spray painting isn't actually like the technique or the spraying it is your prep which I know people say that all the time, but it really is. Like if you spend a lot of time on your prep work and obviously get your coats on flat in between and use the right tips, it definitely does help. Um, we've tried all different types of paint. Um, as a bulk, we started off with water-based. We've tried pre-cat, PU. We've tried a lot of them. And for us, we've ended up going back on to water-based as a bulk there's certain things we do use pu for now and then but for health reasons for easy cleaning up of the system you know like i say it's not our main trade um but for all those purposes the water based the good water based um we was buying from symphony coatings they do offer good products um we then tried movac cheap cheaper than the other ones i'm about to say now but i just found their paint was a lot thinner and it just didn't go on as as nice to me but you know not saying i wouldn't use it it's just when we use the primer say from renner who we buy off now the primer to me just it's so much thicker it just goes on so much better even when the door dries you, you, you know you're paying that bit extra but you're not putting as many coats as, as much paint on as such so and you, it's just a more durable finish so we stick with renner now um by direct from Renner, they are great. So we do go for like their best primer that they offer. I'll show you the tin of that when I'm back as well. But more to the point, yeah, I think it's down to the prep. I'm getting a good finish on spraying. Like obviously we've got Danny, the spray painter. We've got Steve up there now who um, is learning spray painting basically. He's doing all the prep and he's learning in between. Um, and I do spray myself because I think anything in a business, as a business owner, like with our lighting, little things like that. It's like I've learned that myself. So before we took a sprayer on, I just got to grips with it myself and, and learned how to spray really. And obviously over the years of doing it then, picked it up and then obviously Danny upstairs, he's got like 20 years experience and stuff. So he's got a lot of experience in all different types of spraying. Um, but the biggest thing for me, I think is the prep. So we, as a, as a whole for us to get a good finish we we start off with like 240 to 320 grit depending on what we're making with the sandpaper but then i think a massive thing to get that really nice finish is when we do our final um coat of primer we then move on to 600 grit sandpaper which obviously when you feel it doesn't feel like much i know some people go up to a thousand grit we go to 600 we feel like we get a nice flat light glass primer finish basically and then it's important to use tack rags after so you're tacking off all the bits of dust and uh, debris from the door or whatever you're spraying and then you're yeah, going on and getting your pressures right because we do find different colors and different paints they all you need different pressure for each paint you're spraying so obviously once you've got your machine and you set up 
then you'll start to understand that basically if you're watching this and you're looking for a spray cell to start off with like i do highly recommend the graco gxff with an airline connected to it uh, to give you airless air assisted because it just gives you like a nice perfect fan pattern basically and it atomizes the paint lovely it just gives you a nice finish and every time they dry you know today touch wood we haven't had any complaints um, when we do go to our fits we do spray everything prior like as in our class is 100 percent i know some people leave certain parts off till we get to the fit but we spray it all on the basis that like our plumes our fillers the whole lot and then obviously touch-ups on site we do wrap i invest in like a foam or a one and a half mil foam that we transport everything in so we do wrap things well to get to the fix to, to avoid damages but when we do get to the fix then if there's little minor things that we need to touch up say if we've scribed something in and there's little minor bits nine times out of ten we carry artist brushes and we can touch it up with that but we have also got the Graco quick shot which is it runs off a dewalt battery basically so that is brilliant say if you did have something on the door when you opened it up and you're like oh you know shit there's something on the back of the door i need to sort that out perfect to quickly set up the graco so that comes to every fit with us um, we don't often have to get it out but for a little uh, battery setup it is amazing before that we had the other graco i can't think of the name of it but the one with the cup holder below it basically and that run off a dual battery and i'll be honest i wasn't impressed with that one compared to the quick shot the quick shot's got like an actual lead coming off it um, and an actual little unit that the battery goes on to but it's brilliant you, you could actually use that as your as your main sprayer if you wasn't spraying a lot of stuff um, yeah and we looked into recently we were looking into like when i bought this second uh setup we was looking into different spray machines and, and different bigger ones and stuff and, and when i actually went up to spray man you know that's how honest they are you know there's like to be honest Carl, the setup you've got there for what you're looking at now unless you go like spending like you know ten thousand something like that unless you get to that stage <coughs> you don't need it because you're getting the same amount of pressure going through the gun with what you're doing it's working perfect so if it's not broke don't fix it say that it's not broke it is broke and i am fixing it the machine but as a whole with the actual setup it's been brilliant what works for us is the gxff on an airline the graco quick shot for when we're out on site because we've, we've got the all tools we've got the all batteries and it does come with dual batteries anyway but that's brilliant for little touch ups because you're a real nice little finish um, and just using the right sandpapers and then to go alongside the sandpapers the sander so we use the festors the R, rs 400 uh the square one which is like 80 by 133 on the pads we use that and before that before we knew about like how important or before we took more interest into how important the prep was we was just using any old sander to be honest like you know like the little battery ones and stuff and i tell you you don't get the same finish so when we connect uh, the little festival up to our up to our uh, extractor and it's pulling through the extraction the dust extraction is actually pulling the dust extractor down to the board so it's actually sucking it as it's going it's brilliant so it's 10 to 12 the following day and the machine is already ready they rang me an hour ago fix the machine ready for collection 10 out of 10 so back in the booth and we have our repaired system. So while we're up here, I wanted to just show you our system, what paints we're using, our two setups. We have got the mobile uh, Graco Quick Shot as well. But come and have a look over here. So currently, while that machine went in, as I say, we've got the Graco 495 PC Pro. Is a good machine and obviously we use it as our backup. But to be honest with you, it primes beautiful so obviously luckily we've got that as our backup as i was saying earlier with our gxff there it might look in a bit of worse for wear steve's got to do a bit of a clean down on that but that linked up to the silent compressor which is over the back there if you can see it uh linked up with that obviously we downstairs as well we've got the normal version of that there's the silent one which is about 300 pound more than the normal we bought the normal initially and 
when you're spraying in here, the, the normal one, the noise was quite noisy. Spoke to spray man, as usual, brilliant. They come back, we bought, then we upgraded, went for the silent one, and it's just beautiful to work in, because don't get me wrong, you can hear it, but when you're in such a tight space and the compressor's running down your ear all day, you don't want it, so that's nice. If you are gonna go for that setup, or you're gonna get to spray man, highly recommend the silent compressor. Pay that a bit extra, you won't regret it. And then onto paint, so yeah, we now are using everything Renner. So our top coats, Renner, water-based this as well. Uh, primer, Renner, it, Primer just goes on beautiful from uh, Renner. We was using Symphony Coatings, as I said, but now we're just sticking with Renner because it works, everything about them works. Yeah, so we've got quite a few nice colours over the back here. We've got understair storage, which is matched to the customer's specific colour. We've got all white, which we do use, quite a popular one. Um, we've got a lovely green coming through, actually. It's a far and ball shade, can't think of the name. That is gonna look stunning. Keep your eyes peeled for that project. It's a massive two alcove details with a lot of cock beads on very, very, very nice details. And then obviously out here, we have a bit of a dry area. Obviously out here, you know, this is like primer staging. We're gonna be sanding it, we're gonna be denibbing it. And down onto our sand ing, which I was mentioning in the van. Yeah, so this is the Festool that we use. 10 out of 10, connected up with the extractor. It is brilliant. And then we use the Festool pads. to go along with them. Um, but then we do go down to a 600 grit below our top coat. Uh, and we just find that gives us a nice glassy finish and we get good results. For what we're doing, our fitted furniture turns out lovely using a water-based paint. You know, so yeah, it works for us. Not saying that like, you know, what we're doing, we are experts because we're not, everyone's out here learning, but we have found a process for us that works, we get a good job. So I thought I'd just do a video and if it helps someone out, especially someone who's looking to get into spraying, hopefully this helps. So if you do want to see any of our work, you can find us over on Instagram, at Top Bill Carpentry. If you do want to see any more of our YouTube videos, do subscribe because we've got a lot coming up, um, different machines around the workshop more areas in here and different things, but we're also doing some of our projects from start to finish. We've started to introduce them now. So yeah, do subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.